Hello, everybody. My name is Sandra Fuchs, and I'm a customer application support engineer working in the global customer support team of NXP, focusing on MyFair smart card IC products as well as on MyFair software services. Welcome to this short webinar covering the transaction Mac feature of our latest released products, the MyFair Desfire EV3 and the MyFair Plus EV2. The transaction make feature allows infrastructure operators to prove the genuineness and authenticity of executed transaction. This means they can prove that the transactions which were executed between the reader terminal and the smart card are authentic towards a backend clearinghouse or any other software backend. The correctness of the executed transactions between reader and the MyFair Desfire EV3 or MyFair Plus EV2 smart card can be proven by the transaction make feature. It is a card side related feature, meaning it needs to be enabled on the card side itself. Once the feature is enabled, the smart card is generating a transaction MAC, which is basically a CMAC at the end of every transaction. This CMAC is calculated, including all commands that were executed during the transaction as an input, including also command specific parameters and details. This basically means that the generated transaction MAC is kind of a checksum or a signature over the complete executed transaction. The key that is used to calculate this transaction MAC is the so called transaction MAC key. This needs to be available on the card side and also in the trusted server backend or clearinghouse. Using this key and the transaction specific command details and information, also the trusted service backend can recalculate the same transaction make that was calculated by the card and so validate the correctness of the executed transactions. The transaction make feature helps to establish a high level of trust and security in a multi-service provider system. For example, if a card is used in multiple different infrastructures, which are operated by different uh, service operators, a high level of trust can be established between the different operators. Using this feature, the transaction make allows to prove authenticity of transactions and also it allows to further detect several kinds of fraudulent scenarios, for example, forged or replayed transactions, unreported or missing transactions, or double reported transactions, and many more. In this slide, you can see how the feature works in detail. As you can see, the smart card here in the example, the MyFed S5 EV3 smart card can be used offline um, to execute any transaction between the reader terminal and the card. At the end of the executed transaction, the smart card itself is calculating a transaction MAC value using the pre-inserted transaction MAC key. This transaction MAC, also called TMAC, is returned from the card to the reader terminal. Additionally to this transaction MAC, also a so-called TMAC counter, transaction MAC counter is increased by one for every executed transaction. The reader can store and collect all transaction relevant details as well as the transaction MAC value and counter on the reader itself. And once the reader goes online and connects to the backend server or clearinghouse, it can send all these details in a batch to the backend. In the server backend, the same transaction make key needs to be present, which is also stored on the card. And once the backend receives all transaction relevant details, the backend can recalculate the transaction MAC and check if the values match. In case the server backend can recalculate the same value, it's ensured that the executed offline transaction were valid and authentic and can be trusted. However, in case the server backend cannot recalculate the same values, but 
calculates different TMAC values, the executed offline transaction would be considered untrusted or fraudulent or forged. Based on evaluating the transaction MAC counter, the backend can additionally detect if there were missing or double reported transaction towards the backend. Now let's look how the transaction MAC feature can be enabled on the card. For MyFed S5 EV3, the feature can be enabled independently for every application that's present on the card. It's enabled by creating the transaction MAC file inside the application and the right access conditions need to be set for the transaction MAC file and also a transaction MAC key value needs to be written into the file directly. After the feature was enabled, the transaction MAC will be calculated automatically by the card at every commit transaction command. For MIFI Plus EV2, in total, four transaction MAC keys can be configured on the card. And these transaction MAC keys are connected to so-called transaction MAC blocks and transaction MAC configuration blocks. Also, once enabled, the transaction MAC will automatically be calculated by the card when updating um, memory blocks that are protected by the transaction MAC feature. Several commands that you see listed here, like for example, write or transfer, are triggering the transaction MAC finalization and are updating the related transaction MAC blocks. To find out more information about the transaction MAC feature, please take a look at the NXP website and the product pages for MyFair Desfire EV3 and MyFair Plus EV2. In addition, we also have our NXP Doc Store website where you can find all data sheets and application notes and more detailed product and feature information. Thank you very much for joining this webinar and have a great day.